Stay tuned to the end of this video for assembly instructions and links to all the accessories we've added to our e-bikes. Hey guys, Bill and Stacy here, Bonsai Keto. If you haven't checked out our Keto channel for weight loss and fitness, maybe check us out here. I just picked up a set of Rad Rovers. Definitely a lot of fun, Rad Power Bikes. First accessory we bought, Team Obsidian Helmets. Very important to have your helmet. So we've got a lot of accessories to the bike. We'll go over that later in the video. We are at Kensington Metro Park here in Central Michigan, about 20 minutes north of Ann Arbor. They have, gosh, I'd say over 10 miles of paved trail here. So we are going to go for a nice bike ride today, talk about some of the features of the bikes themselves, and just have a lot of fun. Part of our keto journey is not only losing weight and getting in better shape, but the best thing we could think of was bike riding. Unfortunately, at 51 years old, I've had both ankles broken, I've got a bad knee, and i got a kind of messed up hip, and I'm overweight, I'm just not in the greatest shape. So when we pulled our regular old bikes out after 15 years of sitting in the garage, and I aired them up and surprisingly they still worked, man, I couldn't keep up for maybe 10 minutes with you. Now these bikes give you that assistance with one through five levels of assistance, and I'll tell you what, even in one and two, it makes me feel like Superman. I can keep up all day long with, with everybody out there on the trails. So enough talking, let's get out on the trail and have some fun with these bikes. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful park. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Beautiful bike ride. Beautiful bike ride. It's a rad ride. It's an electric ride. I will tell you, this trail is Get beautiful. A bit. It's uh, hilly. Got some uphills, some nice downhills that you appreciate after doing the uphills so as much as we did. And uh, getting a good workout in. Oh, yeah. It's uh, super fun. It's absolutely beautiful. It's probably about 65 degrees here today in Michigan, which is beautiful for a bike ride. Uh, sunny. We are coming up by a lake, so we'll have some more views here. And uh, we're going to enjoy our ride. The Rad Rover has an aluminum frame, a seven speed Shimano drivetrain a front suspension fork, a 750 watt motor, and a top speed of 20 miles per hour. The 48 volt battery offers a 5 volt 0.5 amp USB port to power your phone or other devices on the go. Red states the range to be 25 to 45 miles depending on the terrain, which we found to be pretty accurate. We rode a total of 30 miles, including many hills. The batteries were down to one bar on Bill's bike and two bars on mine. The Rad Rover offers five levels of increased assistance with the push of a button, or you can always use the throttle, which can be turned on or off as needed. On flat surfaces, I tend to stay in P1 or P2 mode. That's plenty of power, even for a big guy like me. I really like the safety features the bike offers. The headlight is bright and lights the path in front of you nicely. Like a car, the bike has a tail and brake light. The backlit LCD screen shows you your battery level, speed, trip odometer, and pedal assist level. After riding for about an hour, we took the opportunity to pull over and enjoy the lake view from this little bench. Look at that beautiful bike. Yeah! These e-bikes allowed us to have fun while getting a great workout as part of our fitness and keto journey. We rode for almost two hours and had a blast. We can't wait to get back out there and ride again. The bikes arrived about a week after ordering them online. The first thing out of the box was the accessories. The charger, the battery, the headlights, the pedals, the manual, and a basic toolkit. 
I plugged the battery in first thing, knowing it would take a while to charge. Then I pulled the front tire out of the box. Man, this thing is massive. Even if your box has some damage, don't worry, chances are it's okay. The bike is actually packaged pretty well inside, with plenty of padding. I used my cutting pliers to remove the multiple plastic zip ties. Just be careful not to cut any of your wires. Now the bike is ready for assembly. There are four bolts and lock washers that hold the front handlebars on. Position the bars in place and tighten the nuts with the provided tools. The front axle is mounted on a temporary plate used for shipping. Remove the axle and make sure to keep the springs in position for mounting onto the front tire. Slide the axle through the front tire, but don't tighten it just yet. I don't have a bike stand, so I found turning the bike over helped me mount the front tire to the forks. The pedals are marked and designated as left and right. After tightening, repeat for the opposite side. Okay, your bike is basically assembled. The last steps are plugging in the color-coded wires, attaching the headlight, and the battery once it's charged up. Then take it for a test ride. Be prepared to giggle like a little kid, because that's what I did. If you found this video helpful and are considering purchasing any of the models that Rag carries, you can save $50 on your order by using the link provided in the description below. We also benefit from this with an Amazon gift card from Rad, so we both win. All the accessories we've added to our bikes have come from Amazon. They're linked below in the description for reference. Our very first accessory, and what we felt was the most important, were helmets. We chose the Team Obsidian Airflow, as they are super comfortable, have plenty of vents to keep your head cool while riding, and not to mention hundreds of great 5-star reviews on Amazon. We highly recommend you invest in a good helmet, like the Team Obsidian Airflow. The bike rack we chose was also on Amazon. It's called the Overdrive. We really like the bike rack, it seems very sturdy, and we're happy with it. We have Ibera rear racks on both of our bikes. If you're getting a fat tire Rad Rover, get the one made for disc brakes. It's linked in the description below. It fits this bike great. When we added the rear racks, we realized that the taillight was obstructed. We moved the taillights to the back of the rear rack using a 600 millimeter extension cable by Buffane. Worked like a charm. I chose to add the Ibera bike trunk bag. Stacy has a smaller rear bag that she likes, and it velcros onto the Ibera rack nicely. On both bikes, we added a handlebar extender. This allows us to mount extra things to the front of the bike, like our water bottle holders, which we love, our super sturdy aluminum GoPro mounts, and our bicycle phone mounts. We also have bike frame storage bags that include touchscreen top panels for a phone and a bottom storage area that we keep with keys and wallets in. At 6'6", six six, I'm taller than most people, so I ordered this extender to raise my handlebars up. This bike mirror by Miracle fits right in the end of the handlebar. We really like them. We didn't use the original bike seats very long. We switched to our Trek bike seats that we own, and then I ordered up Cloud9 seats for our bikes. So that's currently what we'll be using. The only accessory I might still add down the road would be fenders. Let us know in the comments below what you think of e-bikes. Do you own one? Are you considering one? What accessories would you consider essential? Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our review of these bikes. They're really a lot of fun. Don't forget too, in the description below, you'll find links to all the products we've added to our bikes on Amazon, as well as the $50 off any rad bike purchase. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and ride.